Today in Draw My Life, Feeney is in Ferb in 1993 in a village far away in Russia called Lolton, a disturbed child named Candace Flynn lived with her mother. When her parents divorced and her little brother was born, Phineas, her mother stopped paying her attention. Phineas was later diagnosed with hyperactivity, and Candace practically ceased to exist in her mother's eye. She remarried, and with the new marriage came Ferb, a child with severe intellectual disability that prevented him from speaking. Due to the little attention she received, Candace developed a great imagination. She would tell her mother about the incredible adventures her siblings had had in her absence. After a while, the mother got tired of the situation and took Candace to a specialized psychiatrist, Heinz Dufenschmirt. He diagnosed her with severe schizophrenia and prescribed a very strong medication. At first, the drug calmed her down, but it had an intense side effect. She developed a terrible addiction and felt a strong need to consume all kinds of substances. Candace fell into drugs, especially LSD, making her hallucinations more vivid. She barely slept, so her looks were getting worse and worse. During those sleepless nights and tired of nobody believing the stories about her brothers, she decided to write them down in her diary. Then she wrote all of Phineas and Ferb's adventures, describing them in great detail. One winter morning in 2007, Candace Flynn was found dead in her room next to her diary. On the last page, she left a suicide note. Forensics later confirmed that Candace had died of a drug overdose. Shortly after this tragic event and after reading the diary, Candace's mother, troubled with the guilt, offered the little girl's story to Disney Channel. In the end, on February 1st, 2008, the World Renewed show premiered, a somewhat distorted version of Candace Flynn's world. With the money they earned, Candace's family moved out of town. Today, the village is abandoned and in ruins and practically covered in snow. Have you heard of this terrifying story? I don't know about your childhood, but mine got totally ruined in less than three minutes. If you like that feeling, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments what other things you'd like us to talk about. See you later.